Martin, high intensity interval training seems to result in a rapid and um, fast response um, of training adaptions. Could you explain me the mechanism? There's lots of different mechanisms. We know though that high intensity interval training stimulates a lot of the same molecular signaling pathways that we see after endurance type training. So from a molecular standpoint, much of the adaptive response appears quite similar. There are some differences and for example, the changes in fat metabolism uh, appear to be a little bit slower. So uh, given that high intensity interval training relies very heavily on carbohydrate for fuel, perhaps it's not surprising that the adaptations in carbohydrate metabolism are quite fast uh, and the fat metabolism changes are a little more uh, sluggish. That being said, within a few weeks of interval training, even a very small volume, you can see increases in your capacity to oxidize fats in the muscle. Is high intensity interval training an exercise type for everybody? Uh, certainly any serious endurance athlete is already incorporating HIT into their normal training program. We have been looking at other populations including uh, people with type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and even in those special populations or clinical populations, we see that number one, they can perform interval training. For example, even after two weeks of this type of training, type 2 diabetics lowered their 24-hour blood sugar levels, which we know is associated with positive health outcomes. So obviously, applying interval training to different groups, you need to uh, properly monitor it and use some caution, but it can be widely applied to many different groups and they can benefit. And are there any uh, supplements that um, can further enhance the benefits of high intensity in the wall training? In theory, there's many different supplements and, and basically any supplement that has been shown to acutely improve high intensity performance, so that would be sodium bicarbonate, uh, creatine, caffeine, many of these types of supplements may be beneficial. Uh, the studies haven't been done to look at the chronic training adaptations, although there's a little bit of evidence that sodium bicarbonate ingestion chronically may improve uh, performance even when subjects do work match protocols. So even though two groups of subjects might do the exact same high intensity training, sodium bicarbonate has been shown to result in a further improvement in performance. Uh, the mechanisms for that are, are not clear, but there's some evidence from rat studies that sodium bicarbonate actually improves the, the, the function of the mitochondria and that might be a potential mechanism. So you told me that you are doing um, high intensity uh, interval training for yourself. Are you also taking uh, supplements or sports food products? Uh, no, I'm not supplementing regularly except for caffeine. But uh, between caffeine and high intensity training, that sort of gets me uh, through the day.